Ty, you talked about uh, the, the treatments, the traditional treatments of cancer and, and how dangerous they can be. Um, in your research, which is a better part of 15 years, give or take, um, what have you found that causes cancer? Because maybe that's where people might want to start prevent, you know, prevention, not yeah. getting it in the first place. What have you found? Yeah, uh, great question. Cancer, I believe, based upon my research, is a disease of a compromised immune system. A compromised immune system uh, compromised from external toxins. I mean, there was a study that was done by, was it Columbia University? I believe it was Columbia University, but I'm not sure. Uh, but it was done within the last few years that showed that anywhere from 75 to 90 percent of cancers have some kind of an environmental toxin trigger. So when I say environmental toxins, I'm talking about polluted air, mm -hmm. polluted water, polluted food, um, all the different toxins that we're exposed to, radiation toxicity, um, all these toxins are cancer triggers. And what it does, these, the, the, your, your immune system becomes overloaded with toxicity, no longer able to function the way that God created it to do. I mean, the immune system's there to protect. Mm -hmm. And when it becomes, when your body becomes overburdened with toxicity from all these environmental factors, all this environmental pollution and so on, that you, your immune system just reaches an overload point where it can't take anymore. And at that point, it stops to take care of cancer cells that it normally does on a daily basis. Because see, everyone, you and I included, we produce cancer cells mm -hmm. on a daily basis, thousands of cancer cells. A healthy immune system takes care of those cancer cells and kills them off, doesn't let the tumors form and so on that you would think of being diagnosed with cancer. So a healthy immune system that is, that is uh, performing at an optimal level will fight off the cancer cells where an unhealthy immune system mm -hmm. that's being overloaded with toxicity is not able to, uh, to work at that optimal level and is not able to fend off those cancer cells. And that's when you think of yourself being diagnosed with cancer. And, and, and kind of springboarding from that question, once you realize that cancer is a disease of a compromised immune system, and if you have a fully functional immune system, you can fend off cancer and you can heal from cancer, then you can see how important it is to, to choose a treatment protocol that includes a, some kind of an immune boosting uh, supplement or herbs or whatever substance that boosts the immune system. There are literally thousands of herbs and natural substances that boost the immune system. Mm -hmm. What conventional cancer treatments omit, specifically chemotherapy treatments, which is the majority of treatments, radiation too, but chemotherapy. Chemotherapy kills cancer cells. I won't question that. It, it, chemo does kill cancer mm -hmm. cells because chemotherapy typically targets the, the cells that are fast dividing, which cancer cells rapidly divide and they form tumors and they grow quickly. But your immune system, based in your red blood cell, in, in, your, in your bone, your red blood cells in the bone, that's also fast dividing mm -hmm. cells. And so what happens with your chemotherapy treatments is your chemo is killing the cancer while it's also killing you. And the goal of chemo typically is to kill the cancer before it kills the host. And then the way my dad used to say it, that host be you. Okay, mm -hmm. and so that's kind of a roll of the dice. I don't, I'm not willing to take with my life that, the, that we can kill the cancer because, before we kill me. Mm -hmm. And so, and if it doesn't kill you on the, fr on, the, on the front end, it'll kill you on the back end. Because here's what happens. So you take the chemo, and if, you're, if you have a healthy enough immune system to where you can kill the tumor, which, by the way, is not really the is a symptom of the, the cancer, but not really mm -hmm. the problem. Tumor is a symptom of the problem. The problem is you've got a compromised immune system that that, that tumor is able to form. But you kill the tumor, and then 16 to 24 months later, the cancer's back. And no longer is it just lung cancer, it's everywhere. But what happened? See, this is very common. I've been contacted by literally hundreds of cancer patients over the past five years since I wrote the book with exactly the same story. We took chemo, they said we were in remission. Now it's two years later, now the cancer's back, it's everywhere. The doctor says there's nothing they can do. What happened? Well, the chemotherapy is an, is a, a, an immune compromising substance, right? It kills your immune system. The compromising is too, hard, too easy of a word. It's too nice. Mm -hmm. Chemotherapy destroys your immune system. And so you have a, a disease of a compromised immune system. You take something that further compromises your immune system to hope that you can kill the tumor without killing you. And you, what you do, if you survive the treatments, is that now your immune system no longer works. And then give it time. Mm -hmm. Whatever the problem was initially that caused that compromised immune system, it's still there. The chemo didn't kill that problem. It killed the tumor. Mm -hmm. Problem's still there. The cancer comes back in a span of time, and you die because you no longer have a, 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 an immune system left because the chemo destroyed it.